Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Under Rail. Sort of blind. Um, what is this? Oh, it's just, okay, it's just telling us what to do, what to do. How do I close it? How do I... Hello? Oh, there we go. We just talked to Vera over here, and she's given us a little bit of info about everything. Why can't we... Oh, excuse me. Um, oh, where's the main guy? I thought this was it. I thought this was the administration. But apparently not. Hmm. Well, we need to talk to the main guy first. Um, private quarters, medical... Ah, private quarters, that's where we, we were. Commandant and Cantina... Oh. I'm confused now. Private quarters. Well, that's where we just came from. Let me check my quests. Um... Talk to the council lieutenant in his office on in the commons. Oh, in the commons. Okay. So it's indeed in the commons, but this stuff is locked, right? Okay. Yeah, this is locked. This is locked. Must be here somewhere then. Uh, I'm confused. Yep, talk to the counselor and his office in the commons. Level three. Oh, well there it is, okay. Yeah, I thought for some reason that uh, he was in the administration area, which would kind of make sense, I guess. This is probably locked as well. Right, so there he is. That's his uh, office. Hello? Can't steal anything, unfortunately. Tanner notices you as a, you approach him, but remains focused on the monitors in front of him for a few more seconds as he types out something quickly. He then gives you his full attention and a friendly smile. Congratulations once again, Metal Canyon, and welcome aboard. You scored highly on our tests. No small feat, that. I'm sure you'll, you'll turn out to be a very valuable and respected citizen. Your welcoming party will have to wait, though, I'm afraid, as there are some pressing matters keeping a lot of us occupied at the moment. That's alright, as long as it happens eventually. I'm looking forward to it. So, I hope the earthquake didn't disturb you too much and you were able to rest a bit. We got our work cut out for us today. How are you doing? Uh, doing well, thanks. So what's up? How much damage did... Oh. What's up? Plenty! But first things first. First, you can have your gun back. Lucas at the armory should have it. Since you'll be doing some field work today, I want you to head out to the shooting range and warm up in case it gets ugly. Speak to Gorski if he's there. He'll help you set up for some practice sessions. Once you're done, come and see me again. I'll have your first mission ready for you. This is a waste of time. I don't need any freaking warming up. Why don't we just cut to the chase? Those targets will never see it coming. Oh, and before you go, Dr. Pascal wanted to meet you, so you should probably pop down to his office in the medical, medical sector when you have the time. Okay, I will do that. It's also very interesting because I believe you can do your size stuff there, which is kind of nice. As you can see, you also have a field of vision, so if we're looking through windows, you know, we can see these people. Um, but if you're not, well, then you obviously can't see them. So let's go to the armory and shooting range first. And we will... Well, there's lots of stuff here. We will have some shooting. Shooting! Can we pick up anything over here? No. Ah. The tall, imposing figure of this battle-scarred veteran to, uh, towers before you. You met Gorski before. He's one of the counselors that inter interviewed you when you first arrived. So, you passed all Tanner's little tests and exercises. That could not have been easy, but don't think you're some kind of hotshot now. You know, uh, you're yet to deserve the privilege you've been given. I'm looking forward to the opportunity. We'll see. So why are you here? I'm here for some target practice. Go ahead then. But what exactly do I need to do? How the hell should I know? You came here on your own. Actually, Tanner sent me. This isn't actually my idea of fun. I'm here because Tanner insists on wasting my time. <laughs> Well, I suppose he told you what you should be doing then. Look, just take it for a spin. Put some 10 shots into the target of whatever range and it's fine with me. And remember to end the bloody session afterwards. Tired of people leaving the lights on. 
Alright. Okay, so. Did we get our gun? Uh, no, where is our gun? What? He, di he didn't give us our gun. Eh? Um. Hello? Configure target distance. Eight yards. It's quite a way. Um, start a new session. Well, there we go. I can shoot it with what? Oh, yeah. He's gonna try to melee attack it. Because I don't have a bloody pistol. Where is it? Start the practice session. Score 10 hits. In the session... Uh, talk to Pascal on the medical level. Uh... Let's end this session. I am confused. So how do the consoles work? Alright, look here, it's simple. You use the console to set the target distance, right? Then you start a session. The session will track your hits and misses automatically. So you can check your progress while you shoot. When you've had enough, end the session. So what distance do I set? Well, it depends on the weapon now, doesn't it? If you've got a rifle, you can just set it to max. Otherwise, try 8 yards. Experiment a little. Well, I would if I had a bloody weapon. I guess I didn't pick it up. Oh wait, do I need to go over here first? Lucas, possibly. <clears throat> hey again, Metal Canyon. I hear you'll be staying with us for a while. Guess so. Well, make yourself at home. Can I have my gun back? There we go. Of course. It was the 5mm and some ammo, if I recall correctly. I have it right here. Thank you very much. There we go. There's the pistol. Now, we can uh, put this in our hands. And um, there's the ammo for it. I, we can... Now, th that's interesting. You can load a single bullet. You can... You can load a single bullet for the current weapon. Or you can reload weapon the fully. So that's pretty cool. There we go. There's our bullets over there. Let's go uh, take a few shots. And it shall be glorious. Right. Let's uh, start a new session. Let's see. 60% only. Yeah, we're not very good at this. Let's set it a little closer. Five yards. Start. Yeah, that's much better. And we also have the skills. Quick Invoker. Where's my aim shot? Oh, there it is. So we can pull that over there. There's a burst. Rapidly fires five bullets when reduced uh, with a reduced precision. This attack also has a chance to miss the primary target, possibly hitting other characters in the line of fire instead. Its chance increases with range. Yeah, we're gonna put stealth mode somewhere over here. We don't really need it. Pickpocket, I'm not even gonna, gonna have over there, I guess. Um, right. Oops. So let's try this. We can try a um, aim shot, but that just makes a critical hit, nothing else. Let's see. Okay, well that was one shot. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Almost pains me how much uh, ammunition we've spent. But there we go, 91% uh, accuracy, that's pretty good. And session. Oh yeah, let's let's put it back. Uh, now this wasn't turn-based, obviously, but otherwise combat is turn-based. Let's load the weapon, please. There we go. Um, I thought I was supposed to report to him. Start the practice session at the shooting range. Score ten hits. I just did. Didn't I? I'm gonna waste all the bloody bullets here. Can I get more? I know I still have some, but... They're fairly difficult to get sometimes. I want to try it. No. Well, that's odd. It's very strange. Did I cancel the session or something? Start a new session. Okay, well, let's try this again then. Two, three, ah, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine! Ten! End the session. Okay, I just scored ten hits. What do you want now? Total shots, eleven. Hits, ten. End the session. Session ended. Okay. And he doesn't really... It's very odd. Hmm. No, that's uh, very odd. Well, I just wasted a lot of bullets. So that's great. Not sure why that didn't work. No. Report to Tanner. Or maybe, actually... Oh, bloody hell. I know what's wrong. It was fine the first time. I just need to go to Tanner and, and talk... No! I clicked the wrong part. Oh, well, I just wasted 11 more bullets. Uh, let's go to the commons. I just need to talk to Tanner. Then I'll uh, finish the quest. That's the thing. Oh, well. <clears throat> the quest didn't really update. I'm done with target practice. Excellent. Are you ready for your mission then? I'm listening. Down in the tunnels below our station, just to the north, lies a series of outposts. These outposts were built by another station a long while ago, and they use them for scouting and defense. I want you to retake these outposts. To do so, you'll need to activate the main power generator that's located in one of them. Harold from the engineering sector thinks he knows how to get the generator operational. Speak to him before you head out. I think there are a total of five outposts, plus the one with the generator. I don't know if it's possible to activate all of them, but try to activate at least three. You may also want to talk to uh, Jonas at the crossroads watch post. It's down in the tunnels just outside the station. He'll be passing through there anyway. He's been uh, around the tunnels a lot, so he'll surely have some advice for you. Why are, you, uh, why are we retaking these outposts? It's an important strategic position. Besides, cleaning them out will also push some of the unwanted wildlife further away from a station. Wildlife? I understand a pack of rat hounds moving into the area, but you best, back, uh, best talk to Jonas about that. He'll have more details. He knows the area inside out. Okay. Rat hounds. Lovely. Those things are lovely. There's also our experience over here. You can see that it's not actually like zero out of a hundred and twenty or something. Um, but it's, you know, we need to find those unique items. And they will give us either one or two points and stuff like that. Well, let's go talk to these guys here. Pascal. Ah, hello, Metal Canyon. First of all, let me congratulate you on your admittance to our little station. I'm sure you'll love it here. It's good that you came. I actually wanted to talk to you about some of the results from all those tests we did earlier. Is there something wrong with me? No, no, quite the contrary. Sorry if I scared you. You see, test results show that you have a certain amount of psionic potential. The what? Okay, let me just tell you a bit about the psionic potential first. It's a relatively rare inheritable complex genetic trait that triggers development of certain otherwise latent components in the brain. It allows a person to perform some subtle psionic invocations, such as influencing the minds of others, as well as some not-so-subtle ones, such as causing radical temperature changes and telekinetic manipulations. How did this genetic trait came to be? <laughs> All this sounds disturbing. I don't want any psionic mumbo-jumbo going on in my head. No one is really sure. Research indicates that it's a relatively recent genetic mutation, but it sure could not have been a random one. So many things about it are just too complex and convenient to be anything but artificially designed. There are problems with this theory, though. Former biotech's head of genetic research, Hal Roche, outlines these problems best in his thesis. I won't bore you with the details, but the essence of the problem is that with the technology that we currently have at our disposal, creating, testing and integrating such complex genetic structures is simply not possible without a colossal amount of trial and error work. So much trial and error work, Roche argued, that even if you combined all the genetic processors in the world in his time and let them work on the subject for the entire time of their existence, they would still be extremely unlikely to produce these results. Furthermore, Roche points out that the areas of the brain where the psionic activities take place were never even properly charted, let alone genetically decoded. So you see, it's a bit of a mystery. 
we know much more about how to make it work than how it actually works. Interesting. Indeed it is. Anyway, is there something else you wanted to know? So how do I realize this potential? You must first disable your psionic inhibitor. It's a neural structure in your brain that prevents you from accessing your psionic projection centers. We assume it was designed to prevent the infants from unwittingly harming themselves or those around them. There are ways to do this by extended meditation, but this can take years. We have more efficient methods nowadays. He reaches into his pocket and takes out a large red pill. This pill will take care of the inhibitor. Take the pill and swallow it. I... I uh, trust him. Alright, I'll take it. Do I need to prepare somehow? No, just go ahead and swallow it. Okay. You force the large pill down and for a while nothing happens. I don't think it's working. Oh, Ethel Kenyard, are you all the right? Can you hear me? Boink. And we fell down. Ah, good. You're awake. How are you feeling? Ugh, my head hurts. What happened? Disabling the inhibitor seems to have caused a psionic surge, but you're all right now. While you were out, I took the liberty of performing some more DNA testing to determine the actual levels of psionic potential. You have a decent predip uh, predispositions for developing psionic powers, and if you train your mind further, you can become quite good at it. I wonder what he says if you, you really crank the will up. So how do I start learning psionic abilities? You'll have to talk to those already adept at it and see if they will teach you. We have two very good specialists in our station. Quinton is very well versed in methothermics, which is the area of psionic development that deals with instigating rapid temperature changes and chemical reactions. He used to be one of the biotech researchers working on new applications in psionics. You'll find him on the agronomy level. Bison, or Bison, is our martial arts expert. He can teach you psychokinetics and how to effectively use it in unarmed combat, if that's something you're interested in. He's usually in the gymnasium across the hall, but I think he's helping with clear, uh, clearing up the tunnels right now, so you'll find him at the station platform. Thought control discipline is considered by many to be nefarious, and it's also the hardest to get really good at. I'm not sure who here can teach you it. I heard the rumors that Ezra, the chief of engineering, is actually a powerful mind controller, but I don't know if that's true. Most people here, including me, know nothing about Ezra, so it might just be that some of them are making this stuff up. Anyway, if I have to get back, I have to get back to work now. If you have more questions, you come and see me any time. Right. Nothing in the fruit lockers, I assume. Right. So let's go uh, learn some psionic stuff then. Ah, that must be no, no, nothing, no. Okay, and punch that. I'm not gonna punch it though. That would be rude. Uh, I can turn off the lights. Ha ha ha, suckers! All right. So, uh, where do we go? Um, agronomy first, because I want to get some psionic powers. Okay, where is that? This is a pretty cool area. I mean, I I really love the um, the graphics of this this game. It's very old school, as you can see. Isometric. Ah, what is this? A thin grenade case. Well, I'm gonna take it. Why not? It's free. And you're gonna need stuff in here, because a lot of the stuff is expensive. Dog crate, I'm gonna leave that right now. I'm not gonna take it just yet. That is for a quest. And it'll just take my uh, weight. Although I'm, I think I can get the quest right here. Yeah. There we go. There's some cave hoppers there. You must be Metal Canyon, they call me Big Brett. So you've passed all the tests, I see. Couldn't have been easy. Those were just getting harder and harder in recent years. They were pretty hard, but I like challenges. You're going to love it here, then. So what brings you to the pens? Do you have anything to trade? Oh, well, there. He, ha he has stuff to trade. We're not gonna do this just yet. Um... What is this place? This is the agronomy sector where we grow and harvest all kinds of plants. But we also breed animals for food. In short, our job is to provide food for the station in any way possible. Okay, I thought he had a quest for me. Okay, that's fine. So... Uh, let's find the guy who... Oh yeah, I think it's over here with the mushrooms, right? I think the mushrooms are here. No, yes, there they are. Ugh. He stops as you approach him. Careful, you don't want to get in contact with this toxin. 
continues to cut through the creature as he talks to you. My name is Quentin. Don't bother introducing yourself. I know who you are. Who you are. You're Metal Canyon and you just got admitted to the station. I shake your hand, but I got my hands full here. What kind of creature is that? It is a burrower. It's one nasty creature that digs around, laying eggs all over the place. They're more numerous deeper underground, but you can still find a few roaming in the lower under rail in the surrounding caves. If you meet one, be careful. It will spit thick, hard spines at you that are coated with poison. What are you doing exactly? I'm collecting its poison glands. We can use those to produce other chemicals or to coat crossbow bolts. What's in that room over there? We're growing mind shrooms, of course. They are one of the most potent and certainly one of the safest psionic catalysts. They largely, uh, the largely popular psi boosters are made from mind shrooms, in case you didn't know. I'm told you can teach psionics. That is correct. Are you interested in learning, perhaps? Yes. Will you teach me? Hmm. I heard you scored highly on Tanner's test, so yes, I will teach you what I can. If you perform one little task for me. Which is that? You see, I was conducting some experiments on rat hounds a while back, was quite close to a breakthrough as well, until a little accident happened and Brett forced me to get rid of the creatures. Now I cannot finish the experiments. Not here anyway. What kind of experiments? I was working on developing a substance that would transform the muscle and other types of tissue into a potent fertilizer for mind shrooms. What happened? Well, I never really had an appropriate place to keep the rat hounds, so I drilled breathing holes, uh, holes into a couple of those large crates and kept them there. It turns out I underestimated them, and after a while they, well, chewed through their way out of the predicament. Okay, what do you need me to do? I've prepared the final version of the concoction and filled a set of uh, crossbow bolts with it. I need you to go out in there into the caves and shoot a rat hound with it, and then once it's dead, collect the tissue from around the, world, uh, the wound. If you don't have a crossbow, you can borrow mine. It's in that locker over there in the corner. It's not like I got to use it. Uh, I got to use it much these days anyway. And if I do this, you'll teach me for free? I'll teach you one psi ability for free. You'll have to pay for the rest. Mercantile. Make uh, two free psi abilities and you have a deal. Not a chance. It's one psi ability. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Excellent. Here are the bolts and good hunting. Okay. So we're gonna do that next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.